<laughs> Hi everyone, Fultony Cartano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Nilifer Yanya record, Painless. This is the sophomore LP of UK singer, songwriter, guitarist, Nilifer Yanya, who caught some buzz in 2019 off of her debut full-length Miss Universe, a record which offered quite a bit of passionate and very simple blends of lo-fi pop and rock. There were elements to it that were very rough around the edges, very indie, but uh, simultaneously artsy, refined, and delicate too. Kind of depended on the track you listened to. Whether that was Baby Blue, a track that was defined by its driving dance rhythms and ghostly background vocals, which were led by Yanya's soulful but understated vocal leads. There was also Heat Rises, which sounded like a synthy little pop rock cut that could have been on the debut Twin Shadow album. And in further contrast to that, there was the lush, dramatic, and glamorous safety net, not to mention all of the little interludes and transitional cuts uh, strewn about the track list. So overall, not the most focused record on the planet, but still a lot of highlights and interesting reference points coming together. And now with Painless, I think we're cutting a lot of the fat around the edges, getting a tighter runtime, but the songs here still deliver a pretty wide array of pop and rock blends, presented with hushed performances and what sounds like a lot of home grown production. It's pretty clear after two records that Yanya doesn't want her tracks too dulled up on the production end, like with the completely fried guitar crescendo on the song Belong With You, which uh, certainly lends to an organic appeal. And this contrasts, of course, with a lot of the subtle lead vocals and smooth songwriting, giving these tunes more texture and crunch than they would obviously have with a high gloss finish. Now, also like Miss Universe, Painless delivers some pretty good highlights. There's the track Trouble, which is some starry and very simple art pop with some beautifully dystopian guitar swells that sound like something out of a post-rock record. There's also the mesmerizing Stabilize, which has a surprisingly post-punky edge to it, thanks to its driving and twanging guitars and very spunky drums. Shameless is one of the most low-key but also striking ballads on the entire record. Damn if this isn't one of Yanya's best songs so far. Not only do the verses highlight the power of softness and intimacy in pop music generally, but the whole track is like the most sensual and slow, dreamlike prom song of all time. She nails it on the chorus too with, if that is a sign, if this is enough, then why do I lie here, left leaving your touch, under it all I'm shameless, until you fall, it's painless. Damn that hits, with the question of, of what if, the desperation, the willing to take a risk there. The song Try finds a lot of power and subtlety too. The swaying groove in 3-4 is great, the instrumentation has this quality that feels very rickety but also beautiful. Meanwhile, Yanya's lead vocals bring this very whispery tone that scratches a kind of unique itch, eventually transitioning into these leads that quiver with emotion on the chorus. The song Midnight Sun impresses me quite a bit on the instrumental end. The very tight and punchy drums, along with the sinister guitar arpeggios, uh, brings in a strong Radiohead in Rainbow's influence. The whole thing undergoes this great and gradual build. There's an acoustic acoustic break, there is a super heavy and crushing wall of sort of thick and grungy guitars on the back end. I think this track is also a show of Yanya's lyrical prowess as well, as she does a great job of complementing the tension of the instrumentation, narratively wrestling with herself to find the power to uh, speak up, stand up. The whole track reads like a very general refusal to accept things as the way they are. So again, there are some very standout moments from end to end on this record. But in the macro picture, Yanya doesn't sound that much closer to hitting upon a super definitive or bold direction. And on the vocal end, in comparison with Miss Universe, I found a lot of the singing to be a bit more one-dimensional. Because Miss Universe's somewhat kitchen sink approach did lead to some very colorful and expressive tunes and performances uh, occasionally. On Painless, Yanya seems a lot more content to stay almost strictly in the, the smoky depths of her vocal range, which does lead to some tracks that I think are uh, a little stiff uh, sonically, like LR, or just moments where her vocals aren't popping out quite as much in the more rock and mixes. The song Company, too, there's so much room on this track for the vocals to build upon uh, what they're doing here, but they just don't. By comparison, the vocals on Belong With You are a nice change of pace, as this is kind of an aggressive rock song song with some dreamy jazz embellishments here and there, and, and a real attitude to it too. With Yanya singing, sick of this, I don't even like you, bitch, 
that's enough, don't use me like, had enough, let's override. The mix at the finish could use some balancing, but uh, it still goes hard. The one track that stuck out to me as, as not being supremely likable was Chase Me. This song's very distorted and uh, sequence drums don't really line up all that well with the rest of the instrumentation that's very rigid and angular. None of it really like coalesces in a way that feels all that great. There's a sourness about the track that doesn't really resolve either. It's just this perpetually awkward vibe because it's it's not exciting enough and there isn't enough release to really kind of justify things hanging in such an odd space. The record's final moments I thought were just okay. Another Life is obviously one of the bigger singles off the LP. Yanya and Bullion hit upon some vaguely dreamy 80s pop, new age aesthetic on this one, but there's not a whole lot done vocally to really sell it. Really another spot on the LP that I think does have some solid songwriting at its core, but it does lack some overall bite. With that being said, I think this record does have some great tracks on it, but it is a little bit of a mixed bag, with some of these songs I think really being undersold on the performance side. A tad bit derivative as well, but not so much that it ruins the listening experience. I mean, yeah, I think this one's pretty good, and uh, I think there's obviously more potential here uh, for Yanya to find more clarity in her voice and style into the future, and I hope that happens. I'm feeling a uh, light to decent seven on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well over here next to my head. It's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Painless, uh, forever.